Hello, and thank you for joining us today for another interview about the Vale Heroes, which is a grant we're giving to community groups and organisations to help in their areas during COVID-19. I'm Reese from the Creative Rural Communities team at the Vale of Glamorgan Council, and I'm joined today by Paul Mott from the Barry Waterfront Community Residents Association. Hello, Paul. Hello, Reese. I'm just wondering if you could tell us a little bit about your, your association. Yes, of course. The association was established uh, nearly two years ago when uh, new residents on the waterfront development realised that uh, an organisation might help them build and develop a sense of community and community spirit uh, on what is a pretty significant residential area in the, in the council's area. Uh, and so we set the organisation up to support residents and help uh, newcomers into the area a couple of years ago. Excellent. So you applied for the Vale Heroes Fund. So can you tell us a little bit of what that's doing and what impact that's made for you? Yeah, we applied for some funding because we identified at an early stage that to support our community, we could uh, develop a volunteer group that enabled the uh, work that most groups, I guess, had identified in terms of shopping, collecting prescriptions, and such uh, mundane tasks almost for those that were housebound and socially distancing and isolating uh, were in that unfortunate position. So we uh, set up the group and the, the money from Vale Heroes helped us do that in a professional way. So cover things like insurance for our volunteers, to uh, fund a mobile phone that our coordinators could have and share amongst themselves and always be contactable. So in the first stages, we thought we knew best and we knew what we wanted to do with that money to support our community. Excellent. In the second phase though, we then moved on and we started to get feedback from the community of other initiatives that were um, driven by them and might be supported by the COVID-19 support group here. So we then started to use some of that funding to buy uh, paper, printer, uh, and in the first stages produce colouring sheets for youngsters who were at home uh, and these were thank you sheets for our dustmen, for our postmen, uh, colouring sheets to go into the Nightingale Hospital in, in Cardiff uh, and that then moved on to pebbles which were painted and left around the, the site, uh, sunflower growing projects and similar initiatives that were driven by community uh, initiatives themselves. One of these was actually a book loan scheme uh, where three of our neighbours uh, offered to host and have plastic boxes outside their front doors three days a week to enable a library exchange service to um, support older members of the community, I guess. And it's this, this initiative, this project that's taken us into the third phase, which is for us to try, now try and develop a lasting legacy from what has been you know, a difficult four and five months for residents. Yeah. So we are currently looking at how we might build and establish a permanent, a more permanent book loan scheme, perhaps in, on one of our open space areas. We're looking at a, a sort of wooden structure that houses uh, books for loan, that's looked after by two or three volunteers, that may have a community notice board attached at one end, and generally be be something that benefits the community for the longer term from the lessons that we've learned and the community that we built during this time. We would like to thank the support, the, the council for the support that we've received through the Vale Heroes initiative and also in the early stages from funds distributed through the GVS, which also helped us get underway. So to both, to both funding options, we're very grateful and we thank you for it. Thank you, Paul, that's terrific. And we just wanna say, Barry Waterfront Residence Community Association, you are Vale Heroes. <laughs>